everyone. So today we are going to make a Christmas vehicle. Um, I've wanted to do this lesson for some time now and I thought that this would be the perfect chance for us to try it out. So this is an example of one that I just briefly put together here. I'm going to show you a few different um, tips and tricks that we can do on Sketches School to make our life a little bit easier. And the one that I'm going to show you first is the uh, symmetry view. So let me close out of this. Oops, I'm sorry. Close out of that. Add a new document. And the first thing that we are going to do is go up to the three dots. And you see the middle icon that has a, actually two triangles, um, but one is dotted and the other one solid. We're gonna click on that. What this is going to do is mimic what you do on one side on the opposite side. So it's gonna be completely symmetrical. So I think that this is a great project for that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick, okay, I'm gonna pick a tool. I'm gonna to do the fine point marker in black. And let's get started. So down in the, I'd say lower quarter of our paper, I'm gonna begin by drawing a bumper. So I'm just going to draw straight out, down, and back in. Below that, I'm going to draw a tire. Above that, I'm going to draw the main headlight. and the smaller one. Now I'm going to do the fender around it. I'm gonna go ahead and erase a little bit of that. So if I erase on one side, it's also erasing on the other side, which is super neat. This is going to be a classic truck. It's going to have a little notch on the hood there. And then I'm going to put the top of the truck on. The windshield. Now that didn't actually meet, so I'm going to go back over. And those will look like windshield wipers, so that's fine. the grill. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a line straight across here to show some depth in the front of the vehicle. And as you know, Mrs. Shardle is a stickler for a ground line. There you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this symmetry view off. And I'm going to add Christmas elements now to my vehicle. That could be presents, um, it could be a Christmas tree. I'm gonna try to stay close to what I did in the example that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a Christmas tree and it's gonna be shooting out from the truck. So that's like so. I'm going to draw a star. Now if you want to um, do a star like this and then erase the inside, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to do, I kind of want my star to be a little bit crooked. And 
add some branches to my tree and they don't have to be perfect. Actually, the less perfect they are, the better. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pine needles on my tree. And that's just short little wispy lines coming off of each branch. good to me let's go ahead and add you know what let's do a bow right on top of the grill and I really hope that I'm using the correct terminology I by no means am an expert in automobiles so a square with like two triangles shoved into it and I'm gonna go and do it like a little loop on top so it has some dimension. Okay. Zoom in real quick here. My razor tool just kind of erase lines that overlapped there. You know what? I'm going to do the symmetry tool again just for the inside of the grill so that my lines are pretty even. Turn that off. And let's add some presents. Mm. Maybe this guy's bow is right in front. This one's on top, and this one is also on top. All right, so we have our drawing. Looks pretty good to me. The next thing we're gonna do is color it, and I personally liked the watercolor tool. Oh, you know what I forgot? I'm gonna turn on my symmetry tool one more time and put in like a little license plate area. All right, turned it off. So I'm going to click on the paintbrush, which is your watercolor tool. And um, if you like the image that I did at the very beginning, that is what I used. You are more than welcome to try um, coloring this with like the pastel or the colored pencil or marker, but um, for this demonstration, I'm gonna do the watercolor tool. So I'm gonna click my colors over on the side and let's do let's do a classic green truck. Um, let me show you on the bottom real quick though. The watercolor tool, if you do a line, it's going to um, pull a line with varying shades in it. If I tap this, it's gonna make a bunch of dots. 
kind of like watercolor droplets. And if I go over the same area a couple times, lifting up my um, watercolor paintbrush, it's going to make it darker. So I'm going to erase this real quick. And start painting in my truck. So the prompt that's coming up is save. In case I haven't mentioned it to you, I like the auto save option on this because there's nothing worse than practically being done and losing your picture. So what it is doing is saving that image every three minutes in, in your cam camera roll, you're gonna have various stages of this composition. So for example, if you didn't like something that you did at the end, you could go back to an older version where you hadn't done that yet and import that picture. So this looks a little bit smudgy. I'm gonna show you a trick. This third tool from the bottom is a blending tool. It will smooth some of that out for you. Be careful, it will also smooth your black into it. So I'm just doing it in larger areas where my strokes are really noticeable. back to my brush tool. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more up here. Go over the same area again. All right. Hmm, next, let's do tires. That's easy, oh dear. Those are black. I'm gonna pick a larger tool for this. And yes, I went out of the lines. It's okay. And my front bumper, I'm gonna do a gray along with the grill. I'm gonna come in with a smaller tool there. Give it some depth. Um, my little license plate in front. My ribbon, I'm going to make red. I think one of the things I like most about the watercolor tool is that you don't lose your lines underneath it. So like the oil pastel tool, which we're gonna use here momentarily, it's super opaque and you're gonna lose some of the branches. So if something like that drives you a little crazy, as easy as taking it out. Going back in. And I'm gonna take the blender here just to scotch.
and it's fixed. <clears throat> Let's move on to our Christmas tree. So, brown. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of brown on the branches right now. Come back in with another green. So I mentioned the oil pastel tool. That's this guy. I call it the crayon a lot of times. It's that guy right there. I'm gonna pick the largest uh, setting for this because we're gonna use this for bulbs. <laughs> How about yellow? And I'm just dotting it. blue but maybe mm, I want to change this blue so I'm gonna click a blue and hold it and then it's gonna bring up the screen where you can modify it I want a little bit more of like a turquoise aqua I like that click modify and red to the presents. Actually, you know what? Let's go around these guys real quick. And it is completely okay. Uh-oh, someone's up from a nap. completely okay if you don't quite go around them perfectly don't worry about it my star present Do a purple bow on this one. How about a red bow here? Mm, a dark blue here. All right, for the background. So I'm going to go to my large brush and what color am I feeling behind this? did pink on the last one, although I want to do pink again. Let's try orange. So I'm going to basically like lay down some background color. go in with the medium tool put some in here and 
close to the truck, I'm gonna pull some lines away. And you're not gonna really notice these here in a second. Because we're gonna make it look very watercolory. to start doing some of those dabs over top to make it look like droplets. A watercolor. I'm gonna do, ooh, that's an intense droplet right there. Let's see if I can't blur that out a little bit. ground um well you could be driving on snow in this case I'm gonna go brown though and I'm going to try to keep my lines pretty horizontal some overlapping underneath the tire so it looks like it's casting a shadow and underneath the truck and if there's any oh I forgot so right now um, the windshield looks perfectly see-through so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go and grab my white and my smaller watercolor brush and pick a direction. And put a slight glare on it. And last but not least, Sign it, take a screenshot. Click on your screenshot. Um, in this case, you are gonna probably wanna edit out some of the extras, like the undo arrow and the um, 
three dots, click done, save to photos, and you are going to upload that in the assignment tab labeled upload a photo of your Christmas vehicle. All right, until next time guys, take care.